We are heading into week five of the NFL season, and it's time to sit down and get some picks from an expert. This week, we're looking at the NFC East, and we're joined by CBS DFW sports anchor Bill Jones. Bill, how's it going? I'm uh, doing very well. I am out here at the Star in Frisco, home of the Dallas Cowboys. We're off to such a great start this season. I have some insight on the Cowboys pick, and I'm not going to say that I'll be able to get it right. Don't go to the bank with any of my picks, but I will do my best. I, I've been following your picks online as they're doing the Pick'em Challenge with the, the VIPs, I guess is what they call us. And I will say I missed one week, so you're doing better than I am, Bill. And we're going to get to the Cowboys here in just a little bit, but let's start with a struggling Eagles team right now they're one and three on the season and heading into Carolina to take on the Panthers team that just lost their first game of the season to the Cowboys so do the Eagles have a chance in this game or are the Panthers going to be able to attract some revenge on the NFC East yeah uh, you know the Panthers came into last week's game against the Cowboys with the number one ranked defense in the league number one against the run number one against the pass but we saw what the Cowboys did against them, put up 36 points on Carolina in the first three quarters of that game. Now, Philadelphia doesn't have the same kind of offense that the Cowboys have, and uh, the focus is on Jalen Hurts as he tries to evolve into an NFL uh, caliber quarterback. Uh, he's passed for a lot of yards, but a lot of that has been uh, late in games, like a couple of weeks ago against the Cowboys. He got up over 300 yards because they were so far behind. I think Carolina's got too much uh, for them. I like what uh, what the Panthers are doing defensively. They lost J.C. Horn, their first-round draft pick at cornerback, uh, to an injury a couple of weeks ago, but they picked up C.J. Henderson. And now this week, they picked up Stephon Gilmore from the Patriots, but he won't be able to play until uh, week seven. And, and the Carolina is doing just enough offensively, even without Christian McCaffrey at uh, running back. Uh, Sam Darnold has found a new home in Carolina. He's taking care of the football when he's not going up against Trayvon Diggs and the Cowboys. Of course, Diggs with two picks last week. I'll pick Carolina to win this game. The Eagles, just like last year, they've got some injury issues on their offensive line that's making it very difficult for them to win games right now. Bill, next up, the Washington football team sitting at second in this division with a 2-2 two and two record. They're home this week against the Saints, also 2-2. Two and two. So how important is this game for Washington to stay within reach of the Cowboys, and who do you see winning it? Well, I think it's very important for Washington and, um, and, and likewise for the Saints. Uh, the fact they're playing at home uh, gives them an advantage. Uh, you know, the Saints, it, it, it's amazing. They started the year with a 38-3 to win in Jacksonville against the Green Bay Packers. Uh, it was very disappointing for them uh, last week, uh, losing their first game at home in New Orleans after having to uh, transplant here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. They were working out at TCU for nearly a full month. Uh, and so it was very disappointing for them to lose that game. I, I think it's a struggle offensively, even though Sean Payton is very creative as an offensive play caller with Jameis Winston at quarterback, and they're using Taysom Hill some as well. But I think Washington's defense is just too tough. I think uh, the Washington has gotten off to a disappointing start because a lot of people pick them to win the division. Uh, but with the, with the defense, it's pretty solid. Uh, that'll keep you in games. Uh, and, of course, they lost their quarterback to start the year, uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick going down. Uh, and so with Taylor Heineke, he's shown some signs, but he also shown some signs that uh, he doesn't have much experience in this league. But I think they'll do it with defense and Washington will win over New Orleans this week. And finally, the matchup between two NFC East teams sitting at complete opposite ends of the rankings right now. The three and one Cowboys are at home against the Giants team with just one win on the season. But with NFC East rivals, sometimes you can throw out records. So how do you see this game playing out? Well, uh, obviously the Cowboys uh, should be favored in this game. Uh, however, I wouldn't sleep on the Giants. When you look at, at what the Giants have done so far, now their strength of schedule has not been, very, been that great. But a couple of weeks ago, on a Thursday night game against Washington, they had the game won. Dexter Lawrence jumps off sides on uh, the a field goal attempt by Washington that was no good. It gave him a second chance. Washington kicks the field goal to win 30-29. to 29. Then the next week, Against Atlanta, they lose on a last-second field goal, 17-14. They come back and win last week. They could, 
they could easily be two and two if Dexter Lawrence doesn't jump off sides in that Washington game. And they could also be three and one if, if they just pull out that tight game against Atlanta a couple of weeks ago. But what I said, I said Atlanta, I said New Orleans, their, their schedule has not been that strong. Uh, this is obviously the best team that they faced so far this season uh, with the Cowboys. Uh, and as long as the Cowboys don't pay attention to the hype and uh, keep a, a level head and so forth and, and continue to run the football and have a balanced offense uh, like they've had the last couple of weeks, they should be able to win this game. But Daniel Jones uh, is playing the best football that he's played in his three-year NFL career. He's now in his third year. He's the uh, NFC Offensive Player of the Week from last week, having thrown for over 400 yards against the Saints last week. Uh, but uh, the, the Cowboys are, have been opportunistic on defense and uh, with the, you know up there uh, leading the league in takeaways with Trayvon Diggs with five so far uh, that I'll, I'll take Dallas to win this game and uh, be the four in a row and be headed to New England next week with a four and one record. First time they've been four and one since 2016. You know, Bill, everybody at home loves to hear that the hometown boys are likely going to win in, in this week. So we'll see how all that pans out heading into the weekend. And I want to thank you so much for joining us today. It's good to see you. Well, thank you very much, Katie. Anytime. And make sure everybody checks back next week for another round of picks with another expert. We're talking to everybody from all over the country this year to get their picks. I'm Katie Johnston for CBS Local Sports.